Hey guys, John here with another video from the bench at RC Juice. Uh, as always, we like to get straight to the point, so let's get into it. Uh, today we're going to talk about something else that we get a lot of questions and emails about. We always like to try to make a video on something that we get lots of questions about so we can refer back to it. Uh, what we're talking about today is when you have a LiPo battery that when you put it on your charger, your charger gives you an error saying that the battery is too low. Uh, or sometimes, depending on the charger, it might say something like battery not detected even. Um, but regardless, the problem is if the voltage on your LiPo battery has gone down so low that your LiPo charger will not recognize that battery. Um, so the two most common things that cause this are either you've used your LiPo battery, you don't put it in storage mode or anything when you're done with it. When it's run down, you set it aside and then maybe it sits around for a couple months. When you come back to it, the voltage has dropped down low enough to cause that problem with your charger. Or the other instance in which this can happen is that you'll use the battery in an application that allows it to be drawn down too low. Uh, what I'm talking about when I say that is, for instance, if you've got an ESC that doesn't auto detect a voltage, say you've got an ESC that was set for a six cell battery and then you run something like this guy, a four cell battery, your ESC is expecting the voltage from a six cell battery. So it's gonna let this battery run down really, really low before it actually hits cutoff. So that can cause your battery to run down too low. Uh, the other thing is if you've got your ESC that is set to nickel metal hydride mode and then maybe you switch over to a LiPo battery in that NIM or nickel metal hydride mode, the ESC does not have a low voltage cutoff. So with a LiPo battery, you can't run them down until they just stop working like you can with a NIM battery. So if you don't have low voltage cutoff working, then you can have that problem where your battery gets, gets drawn down too far. Uh, so there are quite a few videos on this topic that shows this trick on YouTube, but we wanted to just add a little bit more information to kind of explain what's going on and kind of ease the concerns that, that we get from people when, when we do mention this trick to them. So the only thing that you have to do is if you do have a LiPo battery that won't charge for that reason, um, is to put your charger into NIM or nickel metal hydride mode and charge it for usually 30 seconds to a minute is fine. And then that boosts up the voltage in your battery. You can switch it over to the um, back into LiPo mode and then you can charge your battery normally. So when we tell people about this trick, the one thing that we tell people is the only thing you cannot do when you do this is put your battery, is put a LiPo battery on a charger in NIM mode and then walk away from it. The reason for this is that the nominal voltage on LiPo batteries and NIM batteries is different and the way that the charger actually senses a full battery and shuts off the charge cycle is different between a LiPo battery and a nickel metal hydride battery. So the only thing that you can't do is just plug this battery in and walk away from it because then in NIM mode you can overcharge a LiPo to the point where it can overheat, swell up and even catch on fire. So guys get really panicky about this, thinking that there's something kind of crazy going on with the charger when you're doing this with a LiPo battery. And again, when you're just charging it, it makes no difference. It's just sending current to the battery. The only, only, only thing that you have to watch out for is again, to just not walk away from it. So fortunately, again, 30 seconds or a minute, you'll plug the battery in, brings up your voltage, stop that charge cycle, put it back into LiPo mode, and then you should be able to charge your LiPo battery no problem. Uh, we still always recommend that you put your battery in a fireproof bag, and if you can, keep it within your view in case there is a problem. LiPo battery fires have gotten pretty rare nowadays. The chargers are pretty good, but again, there is always that concern, so always put your LiPo battery in a fireproof bag and keep it within your vision if you can while it's charging. And again, this trick is only for when a battery will not charge because the voltage has gotten drawn down too low. If your battery is damaged for any other reason, if you've got a bad cell, if you've got a puffy battery, if a battery's just gotten old and it no longer works, this trick is not for that. This is only for when your LiPo battery has been drawn down too low. So we do get this email sometimes from customers. They'll buy a new battery, they'll use it one time, they go to charge it, they can't charge it, they'll send us an email and say, hey, I just got a battery, used it one time, now it won't charge. 99% of the time, this is the problem. There's just for one reason or another, their batteries got drawn down too low and that's the only problem. So again, if you've got a battery where it's just been drawn down too low, plug your battery into your charger. Um, it, as far as the current, it doesn't really matter. Um, you, you can use the same current that you would use to, to charge your LiPo battery. If, if you're gonna use five amps on your LiPo battery, just set it in NIM mode to five amps, 
30 seconds or a minute, it'll kind of spike up that voltage real quick. Uh, you stop that charge cycle, put it back over into LiPo mode, and then you should be able to charge your pack as normal. Um, as always, guys, if you have any more questions on this, we'll have a link to our contact info down in the description. Uh, please let us know if you have any questions. And as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.